Detective. There's a situation that demands the best of the best. Brick mansions. It's so dangerous we built a wall around it. No one gets in. Now their leaders got the mayor and half the city hostage. I say we start the bidding at 30 million. Think you can handle it? The handle needs handling. Yes, sir. Black Tree, we're here with the RZA Brick Mansion. Yes, sir. The man, the myth, the legend. You know, let, let's let's jump into it, man. I have a lot of stuff to ask you. Okay, uh, your character, uh, uh, Tremaine Alexander. You know, mm -hmm. to me, you know, he was one of the only characters that actually had a character arc. Mm -hmm. Now, as a char as an actor, could you talk to me about you know that? You know, because he started from here and he moved to there. You know, you don't get that a lot in Hollywood. Could you talk to me about that, my brother? Well, I felt like uh, when I read the screenplay and I looked at what he was doing. Uh, what attracted me was the point that he found a higher meaning. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, you know, in the film we did, it, and I, I put a line into the film that uh, they, they allowed me to, which is cash rule everything around me. Yeah. And that's the mentality that that a guy like Tremaine would have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then something else gotta gotta move you. Yeah, something yeah. else gotta shake you. Yeah. And I think he gets shooken. So, yeah, as an actor, you know, you know, you gotta find energies. Yeah. to try to translate and transmute them, you know? Mm -hmm. Like I said, you become this instrument. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Tremaine is not me in the sense of, I'm not violent like that anymore. You yeah. know? I'm not I'm not bringing the ruckus like that. You right. know what I mean? I grew out of that. But he was bringing the ruckus. Mm -hmm. I mean, strap up, break man. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. I, I have to go back to yeah, pull but, that energy out. But you know what I mean? But having that energy, that helps you with that character. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's the thing about, that's the beautiful thing about, uh, I've learned, from about, about being an actor mm -hmm. is you can either have lived it yourself mm -hmm. or you can have seen it. Mm -hmm. But the biggest thing I think that makes a good actor that I'm striving to be mm -hmm. is empathy. That's real. And I try to have the empathy of, of who this guy would be. How, why would he feel like that? Mm -hmm. You know, and what would move him? But that's in human beings. I mean, the empathy. Uh, I know you're gonna get a lot of questions about Paul Walker. You know, how is it to work with him? Could you just tell me like a, a quick something that you know you you observed, you know, from out, off camera or just in the shadows about him that touched you? You know, as 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 Rizzo. He was a good man. You know I mean, first and foremost, and you know, people consider me a good man. But like I just told the other lady, and I will repeat this to, for the second time. See, he was a he's a good father. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, a guy like that could bring chicks to the thing if he want. No, he brings his daughter. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And, and, and without the mother. Mm -hmm. so, so a lot of us, you know, I got baby moms too. Mm -hmm. And I'm a little neglectful of, of that sometimes mm -hmm. because of my work and all that. Mm -hmm. And I don't bring my family to my work actually, mm -hmm. you know. I, went to, I did Man of the Iron Fist, 150 days, no family. No family. No family. No kid. support. And everybody bought their family. Right. Even the editor. So the point I'm making to you is that, but he inspired me to bring my family to town. From three. Three. Different methods, same results. Let's go. Yeah. Last quick one. Okay. You secretly recorded the Wu Tang album, uh, of Wu Tang album. Okay, and it was just reports in Forbes that possibly it's gonna go on auction for five million dollars, right? Could you expound a little bit about that? Because I'm an avid Wu-Tang. Listen, it's, it's not really about the dollars, because it could be worth a hundred million dollars. That's real. The thing is, music has to be respected as art. That's real. We have devalued music to entitlement. That's real. You know what I mean? And not only just that, even films. People, you know, I have my buddy, yo, I'm gonna download, you're gonna download it. Yo, that film costs 20, 30, 40, 50, maybe a hundred million dollars to make. That's People. Real. Had to put their lives and 
Some people die on sets nowadays. That's real. And you're going to say you're going to take it for free when it's only $10 to you. That's real. Hey. And the last brother. thing I'm going to say about that, bro, is that we will spend 600 bucks on a phone. Mm-hmm. But you won't spend the 10 bucks for the music that makes the phone valuable to be in your pocket? That's real. And so this is more of an art statement mm -hmm. more than anything. You know what I mean? Uh, the value of it is going to be the value of it, mm -hmm. but the true value of it is the cultural representation of what this is going to be. Man, that's 100, my brother. Thank hey, you. thank you very much. Thanks. Black Tree, appreciate it. Black Tree, appreciate it.